Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back today with some awesome news for iOS 11.3.1 users. We may actually be receiving a second iOS 11 jailbreak sooner than we think, this time for iOS 11.3.1 and below. And this is all because Ian Beer from Google's Project Zero has announced on his Twitter account that he will be releasing his notes on a major vulnerability he found that is present in all iOS versions up to iOS 11.3.1. So guys, this is the exploit that we have all been waiting for, a kernel level exploit for something above iOS 11.1.2, and this time it's all the way up to iOS 11.3.1. So as I'll get to in a little more depth at the end of this video, this exploit will work on iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 11.3.1, so don't rush into updating to iOS 11.3.1 if you're on something lower, but definitely if you're on iOS 11.4, downgrade immediately before the signing window closes. Alright, so with that out of the way, I just wanted to start this video off by showing you guys what Ian Beer tweeted out. Now he stated yesterday on his Twitter, if you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security research, keep a research only device on iOS 11.3.1 for more TFPO. And then he goes on to say the release will probably be next week. So what this means is we are very likely to see a major exploit or at least a proof of concept be released for iOS 11.3.1 and below by Ian Beer here within the next week. And this is very important as it was Beer's async wake exploit that led to the development of the current iOS 11 Electra jailbreak. Now Ian Beer is a very trustworthy security researcher so there is a very good reason behind all the hype about this information we know he is going to deliver. This is not the first time he has released his findings in the past, thus when he says he's releasing something I can say with great certainty that he will be releasing it. Now if you guys recall, last year Beer tweeted out something very similar. On December 5th of last year he tweeted out roughly the same tweet just for iOS 11.1.2 and below. Of course, just a few weeks later, he released his async wake exploit, which was then used by Coolstar and his associates to create the Electra jailbreak for iOS 11 to 11.1.2. So this is some of the biggest news and one of the biggest breaks the jailbreak community has seen in a while. No more demos, this time we actually have a confirmed release in sight. And if this exploit is anything like his last one, a new iOS 11 jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1 and below is imminent probably within a month or so. It won't take long for jailbreak developers to transform his exploit into a working iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. Now I wanted to make this video today to inform you of this great news and wanted to attach an updated warning to the end of this video as I'm sure many of you will be updating to iOS 11.4 now that it's out. But if you're interested in jailbreaking, do not update to iOS 11.4. Now the next few questions, I'm sure that's on everyone's mind, well what if I already upgraded? Now I would highly suggest to downgrade immediately as the signing window for iOS 11.3.1 will not be open for too much longer. And secondly, I'm sure many are wondering what if I'm on iOS 11.2.6, should I update to iOS 11.3.1? And honestly, I'll have to say that is up to you. I would personally stay where you're at as this exploit will work on all iOS iterations up to iOS 11.3.1. So it will work perfectly fine where you're at on iOS 11.2 to iOS 11.2.6. It's just up to you if you want to update to receive iOS 11.3's new features or not. But in contrast, it would just be awful if the hype fell short and this exploit didn't turn out to be what we are expecting and if you updated your device for no reason. Now iOS 11.3 in particular patches four main kernel vulnerabilities and there's also a bunch of stuff in the works for iOS 11.2 to iOS 11.2.6 then compared to iOS 11.3 and above. Thus that being said, if you can live without the new features of iOS 11.3, I would highly advise to just stay where you're at. But again, there really is no reason to update to iOS 11.4 if you're intending to jailbreak. Thus, if you're running that, definitely downgrade for now. But if you're upgrading from an earlier iOS version to iOS 11.3.1, I would suggest to do that at your own risk. Again, whatever decision you guys make, you have to do it quickly as the 11.3.1 signing window will be closing soon. It's still open as of recording this video, but I would say you guys have a week tops before you can no longer upgrade or downgrade to this specific firmware. Lastly, this news was even talked about by Jonathan Levin. He confirms Ian Beer's upcoming exploit and suggests to update to iOS 11.3.1 now or suffer later. 
Now, Levin also tweeted out a second tweet a little bit later into the evening, clarifying what he meant in a little bit more detail, and I'll have the links to all the tweets I talked about in today's video down in the description. So if you want more details, check out that. But moving on, we not only heard from Jonathan Levin, but we also heard a response from Coolstar as well, stating that the Electra jailbreak might be updated to support 11.3.1 soon. However, there is a chance that it will only support up to A9 devices, due to the KPP bypass requirements of the newer devices. So what he means by this is, if he updates the Electra jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1, it will most likely only work for devices with the A9 chip architecture or lower. It will not work on the iPhone 7 or 8 that use the A10 as well as the A11 Bionic chips. And this is understandable considering Coolstar himself only has an iPhone 6S and an older generation iPad to work with. He even replied to my tweet from my personal Twitter account last night expressing how much he likes his iPhone 6S and that newer devices such as the iPhone 7 and 8, they don't improve performance enough to make it worth his time to deal with creating a KPP bypass solution for them. Anyway, we will have to wait and see what devices are supported by his jailbreak if he does decide to update it for iOS 11.3.1. The good news is the exploit that Ian Beer is releasing will work on all devices that are running iOS 11.3.1. It will most likely just depend on the other exploits that are required to be used when creating a jailbreak utility if a KPP bypass is not included, or if a KPP-less approach is not taken, then it will not support all devices. So that is, again, another reason why I would highly suggest to think about if you want to update to iOS 11.3.1 or stay on iOS 11.2.x for the time being, because there are other exploits and other vulnerabilities out for those firmwares, and not everything is available on iOS 11.3.1. But again, guys, this is the news we have all been waiting for. This is the major break, a kernel-level exploit for iOS 11.3.1. Again, about the only users I haven't really mentioned anything about are users currently on the iOS 11.1.2 Electra jailbreak. And I haven't forgot about you, but to me, it seems obvious the choice of not to upgrade just yet. You are already jailbroken, and it would be awful to lose that jailbreak in hopes of one that may never actually come out. Yes, we now may have the exploits available, but still somebody has to come along and piece them all together to create the jailbreak utility. And that is really an unknown time. There really is no ETA I can give you at this point in time of how long that is going to take. So if you are jailbroken on iOS 11 to 11.1.2, absolutely do not update to 11.3.1. I would highly suggest that you save the SHSH blobs for 11.3.1 so you can upgrade at a later point in time once 11.3.1 is no longer being signed. Hopefully when an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak has been achieved and is out and released to the public, then you can transfer from your 11.1.2 jailbreak to the 11.3.1 without ever having to lose your jailbreak in the process. Anyway, I apologize if this video has been a little bit confusing, but ultimately the decision to upgrade or downgrade is up to you. Again, if you're on iOS 11.4, I would highly suggest to downgrade today before the signing window closes for 11.3.1. And if you're jailbroken on 11.1.2 currently, I would just stay where you're at and save your blobs so you can make the upgrade at a later date, even when 11.3.1 is no longer being signed. For those of you that are on 11.2.x, you have the hardest decision on whether to stay or to upgrade. Again, my personal preference would just be to stay where you're at. But in the end, like I said, guys, it's up to you. Now, I will include a link to my previous downgrade video in the description of this video so you guys can easily see the process of how to downgrade from iOS 11.4 to 11.3.1, so I hope that helps out, guys. Anyway, in the end, I hope this video in itself helped out, and I hope you guys are excited for the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. Again, stay tuned for future updates on this exploit and future developments on the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. If you guys like this video and if you are excited for an 11.3.1 jailbreak, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as it took a little bit of time to create. Anyway, guys, if you want to stay updated as well, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification icon to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Very quickly, before I let you go, I just wanted to let everyone know that I will be covering this year's Apple Worldwide Developer Conference live on Monday, June 4th, so stay tuned for that and the very first beta of iOS 12. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hoped it helped out, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.